it is raining in Australia and this is fantastic. Let me show you. If you can see it outside, I don't know whether you can see it, but it is currently raining. It's, it's great. Like, I think a lot of people in Australia and around the world have been praying for rain since the bushfires. Since the bushfires, and we finally got it, so this is a massive relief. I've made a lot of progress so far with my second draft. I've finished going through all the chapters, and I have tried to insert most of the diary entries. I still have one diary entry to write. It's one of my last ones, but that one is so important and integral to the plot that I haven't yet finished writing it. Like I said in one of my other videos, I was going to do one chapter per day when I went through my second draft, but then I decided against it and I've actually tried to push myself and do two chapters. That's why I've gotten this second draft done so quickly. It's still not a finished product. I haven't written the ending and I haven't finished writing the diary entries either, but um. I'm I'm in my word count goal and I'm feeling really good about it. Like I have got plenty of time still to work on my third draft before I give it to my beta readers. I don't think I realized until now how important it is to have character motives in your book. Like if you don't have them, there are so many plot holes and your story just isn't going to make sense. This is what I'm going to try and fix right now. It feels like every time I try and go back and edit this book, it's one problem after the other. My main problem before is that I had too many diary entries and not enough chapters to actually put the diary entries in front of and I've been trying to fix that. So I've been trying to fix that by trying to condense and merge some of the diary entries. Um, I think there's around 9 or 10 of the diary entries in total. I don't know whether I have to write new diary entries because I don't know whether the entries that I've written already are enough to tell the whole story. I'm just hoping that once it all comes together that it will actually work out. But I don't really want to add too many more words to the book. I do have a 60,000 word word limit. The word count has been bumped up since the last time that I talked to you. So it went to around 49,300 words without the entries. But now that I've ed added some of the entries into the work, it's around 53,000 words. I don't want to write too much more than that. My main focus of the second draft was to fix any plot problems. And I have done that, like there are a lot of things that I have changed that didn't work out and I've just left in the first draft. But there are still things that need to be addressed and I guess I'll still be doing that in the third draft, even in the final draft after the beta readers have had a look at it. I've actually come up with a little technique, a little trick that I can use when I'm writing. So when I'm stuck on writing and I don't know what to write and the words aren't coming to me, so what I'll do is I'll stop, I'll take a break, I'll pick up a book, I'll read for like half an hour, and then when I come back to writing, the words just come to me so much easier. I think it's just getting into the flow. Once you get in the flow, the words just come to you. And it's so much easier to get stuff done. There's still a huge plot problem that I need to fix up. It's been causing me such a headache to try and get this right. I've been lying in bed at night and just going over and over in my head trying to figure out how I can make this story work. That's how obsessed I am with this book. I get kind of angry at myself for making this so hard. Like, I've complicated this plot too much for a first book. I would have been better off just writing a simple romance story or something like that, but I guess that's the challenge of it all. I've rewritten a part at the end of my book like four times already, and I'm probably going to have to rewrite it again. That's how many problems that I've had with this plot hole. I've also noticed that I've made this book quite dark, and I think I've done that because when I've read dark books before, the themes in them are so intense that they usually stay with me after I've read the book. I've internalised my goal, which was to create a book that's really intense and emotional and something that makes the reader feel something. So I really wanted to write a story that lasts. But now I'm sort of going to myself, oh my god, why the hell did I choose to decide to do a thriller? I think there are maybe one or two or maybe three fluffy scenes in the book already but I feel like I need to add more to not make it so depressing but um I don't know just yet once I do a reread over the third draft I'll, I'll really know whether I need to add more fluff scenes in it but um yeah I don't really want to do any more filler scenes because I feel like it has enough filler scenes it's more about building up those scenes I have well, I would say that I've finished my second draft, but there's still 
a gap in the ending of the book. Like, I've started to write an ending, but I'm not finished it yet because I really don't know where I want to leave the reader. I don't really know what I want to say at the end. It's just, I'm going to have to go over it again and then just continue writing. And I'm still debating too whether to have a prologue and an epilogue because I have read a lot of thriller books that have that. But then I didn't know really what I wanted. I think the prologue's the problem. I didn't know what sort of scene that I would want to put in there. It's still all up in the air. I don't know whether I'm just better off writing from start to finish chapter one and then to the end. I don't even know whether you can write an epilogue without a prologue. I think you need both. But I need to do a bit of research on that. I'm still working on a title. I haven't decided on one yet. I've laid in bed at night going through all these different titles in my head and writing down these titles on my phone trying to come up with one that sounds right. And there have been a few words that I have been tossing around but it's just there's nothing that's been like stuck with me where I'm like yes this is my final title this sounds right this is what it's going to be. When I'm considering my title I'm trying to think about the title needs to go with the story it also has to go with the blurb as well. So I want to make sure that there's a theme within the whole book. And I think the book cover as well. It needs to go with the cover. So the title is such an important part of doing my book that I need to get it right. I know that there's going to be a lot of work later. So that's why I'm trying to get some of the other stuff thought out right now. I still need to come up with a blurb. I need to make sure, yeah, I get that title soon. But um, I'm just focusing more on the main work right now. I don't think I knew what I was getting myself into writing this book. I think there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes when people do write. There's more to it than just writing. Um, I've got a lot of work ahead of me and I'm really worried now that I'm not going to get to that goal that I set in one of my previous videos. I think I was going to publish my book by June or July, something around that time. But um, there's so much stuff to do and I'm actually getting really worried about the book cover. Like I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do it by myself. I've been doing research, I've been looking through different softwares. I'm still in the process of doing this. I need to find a software where I can get that book cover done. I'm not doubting my ability to design a book cover, but I think that there are mechanics to it that I didn't know about and that I'm just learning about now and I'm like, oh crap, yeah, this is why people get professional designers. But um, I'll just see how I go and I'll let you know whether I do end up designing a book cover myself or I do end up hiring someone to do it for me. I will keep you updated how I'm going with my book along the way. Um, if any of you guys are writing your first book or have some problems with your writing, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.